Okay, let's look at the VA claims process, the way the VA breaks it down. So the first step after you file your claim, they actually have this as a step, claim received. Remember, this is all check boxes. So it's like as idiot proof as possible, but obviously that doesn't work very well. But they actually have a step called claim received and they screw this up. So claim received means great, they got your claim. That's going to take however long it's going to take. Why didn't they get it yesterday? Or why didn't they get it in one hour because it's digital? All great questions. We can't answer those. Only the VA can. So they will receive your claim. The next step is initial review. They're reviewing your claim for completeness. Did your doctor fill out the DBQ? Do you have diagnostic codes associated with your disabilities? Is this even a claim that they can move forward with and have the duty to assist to kick in? That's what's going on in this phase. Again, they generate a lot of messages in this phase. If you're looking at va.gov, easiest way to not worry about these messages because they're so relevant is don't go on va.gov. It's not going to speed it up. Step three is gathering of evidence. So this is where the VA Raider, they're, they're moving it along through the process. There's about five um, veteran service representatives in the process. So there's lower level ones and higher level ones. The main one we're looking for is the rating veteran service representative. So we don't really care about the two before them and the two after them. We just care what the Raider's doing but we really can't change what he's doing. He's going to do what he's going to do. So at this stage, the evidence gathering, they're going to determine if you need a CMP exam. You may have submitted a complete fully developed claim in your eyes, but they may not see it that way. So this is usually where they order a CMP exam. It's fine. Go to your CMP exam. And they may um, move you on to step four or five and then move you back to this phase because they sent you to a CNP exam and the examiner didn't do what the VA hired them to do. That happens a lot too. Like I said, this thing's riddled with uh, errors. Don't worry about it. Five CNP exams for the exact same thing is totally ridiculous. I, I'm with you 100%, but that is the current process. So go to all five and nail it. It's your disability, you have one. It's going to be easy for you to sell it. It's about money too, right? Your money. Step four is the review of evidence. So they're going to review everything. After the CNP exam, everything's in. They're gonna review everything and start thinking about, all right, cool. He does have a diagnosis. He does have a nexus. We can give him service connection. Now let's go ahead and look at the law and the symptoms and look at our M21-1 adjudication manual and start figuring out how low of a rating we could give this guy. I'm exaggerating, that's just what they do. We don't prove our claims, so they give us 0% ratings and 10% ratings. This is where you need to focus up front before you file your claim, make sure you have the symptoms for the rating you're going for. So the VA sees that. They see you have specific words and an or statements and you have this and this, or you have this, or you like these things are in there. Go read your, whatever you felt a disability for, understand how it's rated and how high it could go because most everything caps out. So you're gonna need to uh, introduce secondaries and Possibly presumptives, although presumptives usually end up getting low ball ratings too. Focus on the things that matter, which are claims that pay money. This is the VA claims process. Again, if you want to learn more about it, check out my boot camp at combatcraig.com. I'll tell you right now, first thing I said is about medical evidence. If you don't have it, contact my med team. Links are in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. The next step is preparation for decision. Your claim is sent to the rating service representative. This is the rater. This is the guy that you're waiting for. It doesn't matter about the two guys before him. This is the guy. This guy's gonna look at everything and he's going to recommend a decision. He's basically making a decision, but people are gonna check his work as well. So remember that he's sitting there and the VA actually has like a clock on these guys. How productive are you? They get points for productivity. 
um, how fast they work, that kind of stuff. So the less information you give them and make it easier for the Raider to make a decision, the better. If you're trying to establish service connection for a disability, you need a current diagnosis and a nexus. You don't need MRI reports. You don't need any of that stuff. These 10 pages here, all just let the duty to assist do it and the VA can do everything. I wouldn't do that. If you have the diagnosis and the nexus, highlight that and make sure it's in your claim up front so it's real easy for them to find. Step six is pending decision approval. So now we're moving to the next guy. Raider made the decision. Now this guy is checking his work. In step six, they're checking the VA Raider's work for accuracy. Okay, he's got this, he's got the diagnosis, he's got the nexus. This is complete, this is a good decision, it makes sense to me. Moving on to the next step. Step seven is preparation for notification. This one, just the, the name of it alone is just kind of funny. Like if I'm gonna notify anybody about anything, you're gonna hear from me immediately. I notify, I don't prepare to notify, I just blurt it out. I'm really impatient, you may be like me and be like that too, but they actually have a preparation to notify. So you have to prepare to notify. Different guy. This is a different guy. He's looking at the decision, looking at the guy that checked the Raider, and yep, this thing's good to go. This whole process is another person again. That's why this whole thing takes so long. It's There's about five or six of these guys. It's like, okay, I did my part. Move it on to the next step. Depending on who's clogged up, that's where the bog is, and there's no transparency into this. And it doesn't really matter because we already know it's going to take five or six months. So we're already prepared for that. And we know the things that are important to us. What we do before we file our claim, showing up to our CNP exam and our decision letter. The last step is claim completed. So in this step, everything's been done. This guy just assembles everything and sends it out to you. And that's where your decision letter is going to come from. 